Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 67 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, we're going to talk about the tone curve. I'm going to give you a bunch of little tips on how to use the tone curve with a big tip on how you could easily reset the tone curve. Now, as you know, in the Develop Module Lightroom, the tone curve is one of the tabs over here on the right panel. And I'm going to close down the histogram just to make it a little more obvious. So we have this tone curve. Now I've covered this before. There's actually two different tone curves inside this tab. What we're looking at right now is called the point curve. And you could put points on this curve, as you could see here, and you could bend it all around. Now I'm not so much interested what's going on over here. I just want to show you some tips about the tone curve, so don't get too alarmed if I'm totally messing up my picture. Now, the first tip I want to show you is when you're on this point curve, if you want to reset it, it's real easy. You could you could pull off these points if you wanted to. You could just grab one and pull it off the curve. But it's easier just to right click and right flatten curve and then that resets that, that point curve. Now the other tone curve here is called a region curve. And if you click right here, you're in the region curve. This is a different type of tone curve or a different way that you could affect the tones in your image. And this one has some sliders and it also has what these they call splits right here. Now what we could do here is we could just, you know, adjust highlights lights, darks, all separately right here. And what these splits do, this is the transition area between where the shadows end and the darks begin. And over here, it's where the highlights end and the lights begin. So you could change that. So we could have them all like screwed up. And that middle one is the center point or where the midtones begin and end. So we can move these all around like that. Now the main point I want to show you here is you could easily reset this. You could reset all of it or part of it by right clicking on the tone curve. And let's say we want to reset those splits. Remember these are the splits, these three sliders right here. So we're going to reset the splits and those are reset. You could also right click and reset the regions. And if you were so inclined, you could reset the regions and the splits together. You could reset the point curve while you're on this region curve, or you could reset everything. Now, the advantage of this reset type thing, let's say you're just experimenting and you're in the tone curve and you want to do a specific channel. So you want to go to the blues and you want to take some of the blue out. So we're going to move it this way a little bit. So we did something to the blue channel. Now we're going to go back to the RGB curve and we want to open up the shadows. So we're going to go up here and we're going to drag that up. So we opened up the shadows a little bit. Next, we're going to go over to the region curve and I want to like bring out the highlights a little more. So we're going to mess around with the highlights here and the shadows. Now, let's say I did something and I really don't like it. Okay, so I kind of screwed that all up. If I click right click here and I reset the regions, the splits, it's going to ignore the stuff we did with the point curve. So what we could do is just reset all and it brings us all back to the beginning. So you could see there's even the blue channel I affected, nothing's changed there. So that's some little tips with the tone curve, how you could easily reset it and all these different functions that are in the different types of uh, tone curves, the point curve and the region curve and little things you could do with the splits and things like that. So that's it for episode 67. I'd like to thank everyone that watches my videos. I really, truly appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you guys soon.